Hey Dong! In this video, we're going to talk about how to do the shoulder roll with a scabbard. With this video, I'm assuming that you've watched the previous one on how to do it without a scabbard. And we're going to be taking it from that position and going forward from there. Uh, the scabbard does add an extra dimension that if you're not conscious about it, you will destroy it. Um, there's kind of like a, a scabbard curse for the longest time for, uh, from our school. Uh, when we really did do it quite a lot with our Federation scabbards, it doesn't actually matter if it's Federation or not, scabbards, right? Uh, where like almost all of us had a snap one and we had our own technique for repairing it. Um, but it was almost like, almost like an initiation that we had to snap a scabbard uh, before our black belt test. But obviously we don't want to do that. And obviously uh, the Federation doesn't want you to do that, which is why they've also changed ways to do it. Uh, so let's take a, uh, take a look at a few ways you can do this ideally safely. You probably don't recognize the sword, but we'll see. Uh, so let's take a look. So uh, ways not to do this. Uh, so back in the day, right, so again, this was at least 10 years ago, and they've since really, really changed it. Uh, we used to hold our scabbards not on our hip, but we used to have it on our backs uh, when we're in, a, you know, during a fight. Now, if you have it this way, you will almost 100% not 100%. Like, if you do this for a long period of time, there is like a very high probability that you will snap your scabbard. There's just like, there's too many things that can catch. This is just like the worst way to, not the worst way, the worst way probably like doing this <laughs> with the scabbard. Yeah, moved. The, the worst likely way of snapping your scabbard, right? So don't do the whole sideways thing. It's just generally not good, right? Um, there are a few other ways we can do it. So the first way is honestly the safest way. It's also the one that's going to take the most time to get used to and it takes the most time to get out of. But that's simply taking the scabbard out as you do your shoulder roll. Uh, so the idea here is, so let's kind of work our way up. So I'm just going to do it mostly from a kneel because you can just focus on what we're doing with the scabbard. Uh, so the idea here is we just did our happy little cut. I give me open. You actually pull out, and then from here, we do our short roll. This is what the Federation recommends, so Federation. Uh, so this is also, again, just the safest way to do it with a, uh, with a scabbard. Right, so we're here, we open, we pull it out, we're gonna do our short roll, again, we're gonna tuck in, and then we pull short roll, right? I'm gonna show you over here so you can kind of see what's up. Um, so now, instead of the way we just rolled back the thrust, we're gonna do the same thing, now I have to reapply uh, this. So as I again make contact, as I'm rolling back onto my heel, is as I pull it in, and then grab, and then push in for that thrust. Uh, that is the canonical way of doing it. I agree with this way, yay, <laughs> we actually agree on this thing. Uh, you will see other people doing other things. So for example, let's just imagine we just have a happy little shoulder roll here, I've seen some people just do this, <laughs> just grab and kind of stab this way. Um, this hand is, is not contributing to the stab, so you might as well just do something like that if you really want to be special. Um, but this is not going to really do anything to help the stab, so eh, right? Uh, it's also not Federation, so um, yeah, and there's a whole bunch of other things you can probably do if you needed to. Um, some people might try to do the thrust as you pull it in. Uh, that's again not say what the Federation wants. Um, and once again, I'll do it facing you so you can kind of see. Oh, I can keep that in. Uh, we just did our cut. I'm gonna come to a kneel just to make things easier. So from here, I'm gonna pull it out. And I just kind of cover it like near my heart as I shoulder roll forward. I'm hopefully gonna be in frame. We'll find out, right? So shoulder roll, right? I'm gonna key me back this way, right? And then as I roll back on my heel, I'm gonna tuck this in, in, grab, two-handed thrust, and then finish the rest of the form oh so narrowly. You get the joy of me trying this out on camera. Uh, so the other ones I've seen, I haven't tried myself uh, because I usually train with another sword that I'm f afraid of snapping that scabbard because I don't know what that sword will do to me uh, if I snap its scabbard. However, uh, let's try a couple of the other variations. Again, the Federation one is one I recommend. These are ones I've seen other masters do. Let's take a look, right? So one of them is gonna be 
tucking it across your body as you shoulder roll. I have not done this before. <laughs> We're going to find out if it works on camera, right? So uh, from here, <laughs> that was a little bit uh, daunting. Where you just our cut, I flip. I'm going to bring this over as I shoulder roll. Let's hope I don't damage myself, right? But shoulder roll, right? Seem to work, right? And then from here, um, I can pull back in and thrust oh so merrily with that. Let me try it facing you. We'll see if it snaps. Uh, so once again, we just did our happy little cut. I'm gonna again come to a knee just because it makes things easier. You're gonna bring your scabbard across your body as you shoulder roll, right? So shoulder roll. And then you can finish with your thrust. Now I believe you can actually keep your hand this way as well. I'm just not comfortable doing that because I'm used to having this almost like a brace. Uh, but I believe you can also do that to also keep your hand out of the way. Uh, another one that I would not recommend is also just keeping it as is because as we shoulder roll from shoulder to hip, as I roll this way, it's almost certainly gonna make contact with the scabbard. Uh, so that's why we usually pull across, pull out. Any of those combinations is really okay. So these are different ways you can uh, integrate it. I just wanna reemphasize that as you're coming out of it, make sure you still do roll back so you still have two hands and really get a lot of power with that thrust. And that's in theory how you do it with a scabbard, right? Uh, so again, there's many different ways you can try it. If you're feeling adventurous and you want to try other ways, you absolutely can. Um, now, just with our previous video, we're kind of working our way up. You don't need to start doing it with, <laughs> again, uh, with a you know, uh, sword that you really cherish. Uh, you can do something like this, where you can try it with a mukam and a second mukam. Try it that way. You can also try it with, this is going to sound silly, um, but just to make it less silly, I'll do it myself. Um, uh, you can do it with a mukam and a pulu, like so, right? So you don't necessarily need to pull it back in. You can just have it across your body as you shoulder roll. You can have it out as you shoulder roll. It's just something they can have that you know that you're kind of working up to it. And if you feel that this hits the ground, I should have done that against my sword, but that's okay. Um, if you feel it hit the ground, you know something fishy happened, and you can gradually upgrade this to something that's more durable, but it give you more feedback. Uh, so maybe something like, you know, in the scream stick, right? So something like this. Um, this is something that I also recommend when you do the shoulder roll in Shimsong. You can actually do like all of the, uh, so like the draw, and you can do like the thrusts and hits and shoulder rolls and all of this fun stuff, which I just now realize I probably need to make a video on as well. Um, so joys. Uh, so being able to do that whole combination uh, with something a little more robust than, you know, pool noodle or just your imagination, right? As robust as that might be, um, it would be good to have something physical for you to actually manipulate so you actually know something's actually working. And because I just briefly mentioned it, I want to have a little bit of closure on that as well, because uh, I don't want to do a whole video on the shimsong portion of it. Uh, but how you do the shimsong shoulder roll, right, when you have your scabbard drawn, right, so again, remember we just drew it out and we did all of this oh so fun stuff, and we shoulder roll this way. Uh, what's going to happen is we're here, again, should actually be here. Uh, you're going to shift into reverse grip, right? and then shoulder roll, this time over your right shoulder, but it's gonna be the same kind of mechanism, right? Um, you're gonna shoulder roll your right shoulder, and you're gonna keep it reverse grip as you high block thrust. Uh, so it's gonna be the exact same thing as the Sensu 5 in terms of what you're doing with the scabbard, but that's what you're gonna be doing for Shimsong. But yeah, so just like with the previous video, so make sure you really work your way up with this stuff. Don't try to be a Superman or whatever the Marvel equivalent is. I'm going to get a lot of comments about like, hey, it should be Iron Man. Uh, whatever the <laughs> equivalent of Superman is, don't be a Superman and try to do it like instantly, right? Don't try to be like, ha, oh, scabbard first and just go straight into it because you're going to lose probably your mobility in your shoulder. You're going to lose your scabbard. You're going to do all sorts of things. Really take the time to build up. Uh, just like how I talked about like taking several days at each step, uh, learning how to shoulder roll and then shouldering with a sword. Do the same thing with a scabbard. So start off with something Again, very, very soft, and then eventually work up to having your actual scabbard. Um, if you do practice with a scabbard more regularly, I do recommend uh, learning how to do this properly, right? So again, practice with something that you don't want to destroy. Uh, that you can destroy and you won't be like morbidly um, you know, sad about. Um, but 
I guess with that, so make sure you stay safe. Again, work up with everything, practice on a safe place, right? Don't, again, do it on like rocks and like spikes and stuff. Um, soft ground, mattress, whatever, uh, and practice with soft stuff. So be safe, stay humble, and keep training. Hey, don't.